Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very exciting and challenging factorial equation problem. It is x factorial equal to x minus 2 whole power 5 minus x minus 2 whole cube. x is non-negative integer. So let's get started this video by writing our substitution. So I will write let x minus 2 equal to y. So I can write x will be equal to y plus 2. So I will put these values in our equation. So our equation will become y plus 2 factorial equal to x minus 2 is y. So y power 5 minus y cube. Now I can take y cube common. So I will be writing y cube. In bracket, I will be writing y square minus 1 or minus 1 square. Left hand side is y plus 2 factorial. Now I will write and use recursive formula. So recursive formula is n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 factorial or n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and so on. So our LHS, I will apply this recursive formula. Let's apply. I will write y plus 2, decrease this number by 1, y plus 1, decrease this number by 1 again, y again, y minus 1 again. I will be writing y minus 2 and then I need to put over there factorial. Right hand side, it is y cube. Now I will apply here difference of two squares formula. So I can write it as y plus 1 times y minus 1. Now I can cancel few terms from both the sides. y with y power 3 by writing over there 2. But before that I need to write here y cannot be equal to 0. Similarly I will cancel y minus 1 with y minus 1. So I need to write here 1. It cannot be equal to 1. Similarly y plus 1 and y plus 1 but here I need to write minus 1. So these values should not hold true for our equation. Equation is here. If I will put y equal to 0, c equation will be 2 factorial equal to 0. Is it true? No. If I will put y equal to 1, then 3 factorial equal to 0. Is it true? No. 6 cannot be 0. If I will put y equal to minus 1, then it would be 1 factorial equal to 0. Is it true? No. So because of it is not equal to 0, 1 and minus 1, we can cancel. So what would be left? y plus 2 times y minus 2 factorial equal to y square. Now I will use second substitution as I can see y minus 2 factorial is written. So I will use let y minus 2 equal to t. So y plus 2 if I will write from here y plus 2 will be t plus 4 because it is required and y is also required. So I will write y equal to t plus 2. Let us put both the values to our equation. So our equation will become y plus 2. So t plus 4 times y minus 2. So it would be t factorial. So I will be writing here t plus 4 times t factorial equal to y square y was t plus 2 whole square. Now I will divide both sides with t plus 4 as t cannot be equal to minus 4. So I can divide with t plus 4. t plus 4. You can check for the value. Now I can cancel these two terms. So now what is left? t factorial is equal to t plus 2 whole square divided by t plus 4. Now I will write our 
numerator in this manner equal to i will be writing t plus 4 consider like this minus 2 and then whole square and denominator as it is t plus 4 now consider t plus 4 as a 2 as b so we are free to use a minus b whole square identity so let me write t factorial will be equal to i will write a square so i need to write here t plus 4 whole square minus 2 a b so minus 4 t plus 4 plus b square so plus 4 and divided by t plus 4 now i will split my numerator with respect to denominator so three terms i will write i will write t plus 4 whole square over t plus 4 so t plus 4 then minus 4 t plus 4 over t plus 4 so minus 4 then 4 over t plus 4 so i will write 4 over t plus 4 now you can see this 4 and 4 will be over now what is left left hand side it is t factorial right hand side it is t plus 4 over t plus 4 now we will put up few arguments here let me write here t factorial equal to t plus 4 over t plus 4 now point number one for lhs see t must be greater than or equal to 0 it should be non-negative integer so i will write here it is integer now come to rhs t is already i have written it is integer now point is this must be integer first point so i will be writing here t plus 4 first point it should be less than or equal to 4 once t plus 4 is greater than 4 then this would be fractional value and we won't get integer solution like 5 6 7 8 now second condition i can consider 4 should be divisible by t plus 4 if i am taking the first condition only then t is greater than equal to 0 and if i will simplify this inequality or solve this inequality t plus 4 less than or equal to 4 t should be less than or equal to 0 if i will club these two this one and this one then t equal to 0 will be the only true value which will satisfy both the inequality so t equal to 0 is the solution for this factorial equation now only need to put what was t let me write here t was our substitution it was y minus 2 so i will be writing here y minus 2 equal to 0 so from here i can write y must be equal to 2 now y was again my substitution so what was y y was x minus 2 so let us put here x minus 2 equal to 2 so x will be equal to 4 this is our ultimate solution now i will verify this value let us put x equal to 4 whether it is true or not so let me put here equation is written here so let me write check so left hand side it would be 4 factorial done right hand side 4 minus 2 so 2 power 5 minus 4 minus 2 so 2 power 3 okay 4 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 equal to 2 power 5 32 2 power 3 8 4 times 3 is 12 12 times 2 is 24 32 minus 8 24 that means this is true value answer becomes x equal to 4 i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.